All right, continuing our range bag overviews, uh, we have we have the Brownells Signature Series Deluxe Shooting Bag. It's important to note this is the deluxe version. They also offer a standard version for one hundred and thirty nine thirty dollars one twenty nine ninety nine, and this is the deluxe at two forty nine ninety nine. So, I think this is a great bag so far. It's very classic. It's it's not trendy. It's not tactical looking. Five years from now, this bag will still look right. Um, it won't look like a, a, a military style pack that kind of goes kind of goes with the times. Let's just kind of start right on the end here. So it's got real leather um, handles here. Got their leather Brownells branding here. Very classic. Uh, full on YKK zippers with brass pull tabs and you have a leather uh, pull tab on it as well for when you're using gloves or can't grab the bolt pull tabs so it's a fairly large bag let's see it's a 23 by 12 by 12 so a little bit on the larger side which i like for myself that way i like to set up a bag and just leave it leave all my stuff in it not have to repack my bag every time i go to the range so it has this very large full almost full length side pouch let's see what's in there the zippers stop halfway down. This has a padded exterior pouch, so you can put stuff in here to be protected. There is no organization inside here. It's one large compartment. Uh, you will notice that everywhere you have a strap, the strapping goes, the webbing goes all the way down and in. So it kind of gives support for the whole bag. Um, but yeah, nothing in there, very large single pouch and let's go to the side here uh, luggage tag surrounded by leather so like like the uh, safari land bag it has the luggage tag put your name and address in there once again heavily padded exterior pouch this this uh this is padded and again wide open no no velcro no nothing just an open cavity uh, this cavity is roughly, I don't know, roughly eight by 10. And again, the zippers go three quarters halfway down. There's a little loop down here, so you can put a carabiner on it, uh, strap something to it. I use my, my ear protection. when I, If I have a smaller bag, I have a separate case that I can clip on there. Uh, there's another one on this side. And there's actually one on each side of this as well. I didn't realize that when I was doing that. Same deal on that one. Um, so that was this side, here's the other side. There's a full zipper, a full length. Again, this side is not padded, thinner material, not padded like the front side, but it's just a wide open compartment again. Same deal like the other side where the strap handles go down. It goes all the way down through there as well. There you go. This side is the last end, and it is basically a replica of this end, just minus the uh, luggage tag. So padded, large, no, 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 no compartmentalization in there. Coming up top here, we have the leather handle again with the Velcro, and we have the zippers. Where's the zippers? Here we go. Open this up. This is a padded top here. Padding, and it's got a full length zipper here. The inside wall is not padded, it just relies on the padding on the top there. So you could put stuff in there. And it also uses a pull out bag. So let's pull this bag out. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so very large bag. Looks like they put a uh, corrugated plastic in the bottom to keep the bottom, keep its shape. Uh, very large, let's see what size it is roughly. Uh, roughly 20 by 10 or so. So that's your main compartment. I'm gonna set this one aside while we look at the inner bag now. So the inner bag, Kind of reminds me of a classic tool bag 
you can go get these tool bags look kind of like this so here is the shoulder strap that goes to the main bag it's got a padded velcro or a padded leather pouch or sorry not pouch shoulder strap it's got a velcro closure over it so we need to take that off looks like brass swivels and uh, clasps and then we've got I believe this is a divider yeah so it's the same hard plastic that the floor is there it's got velcro loops around it stiffening and we can put it between here to make a divider so hard plastic on the bottom there to keep the shape you have one divider that you can make a divider in the bag on the outside of this one we have the brown owls same tag here they do slip in there. i don't know what if you'd ever put anything in there but i guess you put a business card or something in there now oh that's kind of interesting they have a feels kind of like neoprene almost in here a padded pistol pouch padded pistol pouch with a velcro closure got the compartment that slips into right there same deal brass uh one pk poles let's see if there's a matching set on this side yes there is so you can get two pistols in there fully padded i think i would even be tempted to slip one inside and one or two on each side here um, especially because you have the padding in the bag you don't necessarily need this padding because between here this is just the layer of the, the nylon there's not actually padding this the padding's all built into this insert and then we've got the handles and on each end we got a d-ring for a uh, over the shoulder strap and in here we have mag pouch loops got three on there with a larger container in front of those with a it looks like four thin uh, dividers you know for uh, small tools uh, punches pens pencils whatever you need in there and it looks like this side is slightly different over here you've got the three mag pouch slots the large slot and then there's also some velcro loops on this side of it which those are on this side as well uh, so you got a couple more retainers there uh, both sides have the velcro on there so you can move this divider uh, to and fro if whatever you need to but pretty large um, you could i think this would be a great shotgunner's bag and fill, fit a lot of big shell uh, boxes in there um, you could do your shot timers everything pretty big bag pretty nice um, this one slips in here and there you go it's a nice brown color, kind of a nice classic sportsman's color. It feels, I don't want to say it's retro because that sounds bad, but it almost feels, I, that's why I use the word classic. I think it, it's a classic feeling bag. Again, this is the Brown Owls Deluxe Signature Series Range Bag. There will be a link to this product in the video description. Take a look at it, see for yourself. It has all the dimensions for everything in the uh, Brown Owls website. So until the next one. This is the Brown Owls Deluxe Signature Series Range Bag.